Oh, dog. Oh, we got to watch out for the dust. Kill you in a heartbeat. People like me don't get chosen for things like this. I am trans, and I don't care who knows it. What defines me is not how I look or how I act. It's what I do in my life. And the things that I do in my life are epic. I'm a bow hunter. I've been hunting my entire life. I was in the Air Force for 12 years, and during that time, I went overseas 12 times. I have done a week at a time alone by myself in the woods with nothing but a knife. So yes, I am absolutely prepared for this. I was born male, but in my mind growing up, I have always been female. Transitioning is the hardest thing I've ever done, but it's so worth it. The one thing I am aware of for my partner is that he or she is gonna see a different and more unique body than they probably ever seen. For my partner, this is gonna be an experience of a lifetime. Things on the outside aren't what they are supposed to be at this point in my transgender transition. I do have breasts and I do have the male genitalia still. Here we go. When it comes to my partner, they're either gonna accept everything or they're gonna go off the deep end and we're gonna see some bad I'm Tara. I'm Sean. How are you? I'm fine. Do you have any questions? Uh, not at the moment. So, obviously, you can see that I'm not the same as every yeah, other girl that's been on this show. Yeah. Well, unique. Yeah. What are your thoughts on this? Um, it is a bit of a shock to me. And we're all unique and special. I'm, I'm open-minded, and uh, and we're going to do this together. Yeah. Don't worry, you I've like. got your back. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. And I've got your back, too. Great. Hearing that is a big thing to me. We're going to do this. You're going to be OK. Yeah. I'm excited. Me, too. I'm a hell of a lot more surprised than I thought I was going to be. He looked at me like I was a normal person. That was exactly what I needed, a great surprise. And I'm, I'm pretty happy so far. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Finally. We will be OK. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is stunning. This is like an oasis. This is perfect. This water's crystal clear, man. How could we ask for anything else? Quite lucky, eh? Crocodile. Let's go and have a look here. Potential food source, depending on how big it is. You can see it by the size of the, of the, the tracks. The slide, yep. So, the tail. I mean, that's, that's, quite a, that's probably about an eight-foot croc. And give you a go. Yes. Oh, wow, there's actually a crocodile everywhere. That's so quite dangerous to get over there. I think I could actually have a shot from this bank to that bank. It has to be a dead brain shot, otherwise they, they go back into the water and you can't find them. And uh, be careful here. OK. Crocodiles are well, it's one of the only species that have been documented to, to prey on humans. You can call it a man-eater. Very sneaky, very dangerous. You've got to be very careful. You've got to keep a good eye out. I'm going to sneak over that way without making any noise. Because that guy right there has absolutely no problem taking anything off your body that they want. Late, so we need a fire. We're gonna make some water, get rehydrated, and then start building our shelter. We need to seriously hydrate. Yeah. Let's put this in the sun like this just to dry out any moisture. I see a bunch of elephant dung. Oh, yeah. It's a nice dung, man. It's quite dry. Okay, beautiful. Oh, that's great. Hours into this challenge, we have water, we have fire, fire. we have Think. crocodiles. <laughs> How much more can we ask for? Yep. Yeah, well, we've got limited time because we've only found our spot quite late. The priority is to get a shelter up. All right. OK, we need to get out of the sun. Yep. In this little pothole that's been weathered away over millions of years, I found some lovely sticky clay to keep me protected from the sun. 
Otherwise, it's another dangerous thing for me. I know that I need a shelter, and we don't have a lot of time left, and I need to get something done. Sun's going down, the temperature's dropping. And we've only got about an hour left. So I've got a rock wall. I'll start cutting poles and digging them into the ground to put up walls going around the rock wall. So we're just putting up a basic fence, and then all this acacia hookthorn is just going to go all around it. Uh, let's try and make it as thick as possible. It's going to be our little doorway. Even breathing hard takes all your water out of your body. And I'm breathing hard. We need a lot of firewood because we're going to need fire throughout the night. Very important to keep warm and to keep the dangerous stuff away. They don't really like coming around fire and smoke. I think this is going to work for tonight. Thanks for not being a You too. <laughs> You just seem like a good person, so I'm really happy about that. Yeah. And if you have any questions, yeah. ask. Do you think you're born with those? Um, yeah. Lyrics? It's it's always been there. It must have been quite tough. After I came out online, on on social media. Yeah. Um, I lost over 200 people within a couple days. Really? Yeah. So it's crazy. The people I thought were my friends and my family. My mother still calls me by my old name. Yeah. She still calls me Luke. Very courageous of you for finally doing what, what you feel is right for yourself. It doesn't matter what other people think. I've been very, very scared about who I was going to be partnered up with. Yeah, I can imagine. It's a terrible world out there. Eh? How's sleeping going for you? Not good at all. Oh my God, it's like a freezer. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> I'm shivering my ass off. My whole lower half is frozen. frozen. <laughs> I hate our tiny boma. We haven't got for sleep. It's cold and windy. It's gonna be a long night. Yeah. I don't wanna have a night like this every night. We gotta fix this. Yeah, we're gonna make a plan tomorrow.